Mockups, mockups, mockups. I need to talk about mockups. Hola, you amazing artist. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, whether or not you need to have a mock-up. And my answer is no, you don't need to have mock-ups of your work. It is quite helpful. And one of the reasons that it's helpful is because it does give context to the piece for the person that's looking at it. Especially with everything that's been going on lately, a lot of uh, the way that Clean I have been selling our stuff is online. And to be honest with you, when you're looking at a painting on an easel or you're looking at just a picture of a painting, although the painting is beautiful, it's almost hard. It, it can be really hard for some people to quantify like what the piece is going to look like on their wall unless they have an example of what the piece looks like on uh, someone's wall. Now, here's the thing. I started to notice an even better vast improvement online once I started doing mock-ups that uh, looked really, really cool and really showcased the piece. For the longest time, I was using Photoshop to do my mock-ups, and I don't use Photoshop anymore because of pricing, but I use Affinity. To be honest with you, although I got pretty good at creating the mock-ups, they're, they're always kind of a pain in the butt because I got to pull up some files. They're usually really big files or um, it just, I'm, I was never very happy with the way that it looked. Recently, a company called Canvi.com contacted me and they said, hey, would you review our stuff? And so I had the opportunity to go on there and review it and... Um, uh, I gotta say, I'm really, really impressed with, uh, with what I was able to review. Now, uh, before I, before I keep going, just to let you know, like, I am not sponsored by Canvi. They don't have an affiliate program. They are not giving me any money for this. Uh, they simply contacted me and asked me if I would want to review it. And, uh, so I reviewed it, went through, went through it. And I gotta tell you, uh, it is right now one of my favorite favorite websites when it comes to doing mock-ups uh, for the art. There, There is so many cool options on there. You could do prints, you could do uh, paintings, uh, they've got a whole bunch of rooms. It is super, super easy to use and has cut down my having to make mock-ups uh, by a whole lot. Like it's, it's made the process very, very simple. In other words, you thought to yourself, why reinvent the wall? I almost forgot you were back there. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through a real quick process so you could see for yourself, uh, what the experience is when, um, maybe I'm going to edit some photos for my website uh, and exactly how I do the mock-ups on Canvi. Okay, so uh, I've got some pictures that I took of a piece here. And as you can see, like usually when I'm going to list something, um, I'll take several pictures of it. These are pictures that I took outside um, just because obviously best lighting is outside. And I like taking several angles of it. Finding ways to capture the texture in it. And these pictures I just take with my with my iPhone. And I've got a crappy iPhone, but it seems to take good pictures. Obviously, if you have a better camera and you want to do prints of it, that is something that I recommend. Whenever I do a listing, I also, just for scale, I like to uh, show a picture of myself working on it. And that way it really gives people the scale of what the piece looks like, at least in comparison to me. What I want to do is get these ready for the website for the store. I use Affinity Photo now to edit my pictures and I used to use Photoshop. And uh, so if I were to do any mock-ups myself, I'd be doing them in Affinity Photo um, and I used to do them in Photoshop. The The only reason that I stopped doing them is because to get them to scale and to find uh, just different backgrounds uh, with different kinds of furniture and stuff uh, started to become a, a really big pain in the butt. And it was taking more time to actually do it. Um, but I did, I did do my own mock-ups for years. So can you do your own mock-ups? Of course. All you need is a background with a wall or something on there. Of course, you want to get the pictures to scale to whatever scale you want. So usually what I do in here is 
I'll open up all the pictures that I'm going to use in the listing. And that way I could just edit them one by one. Pretty much with a lot of these, I try to take the picture exactly how I would want it to look on the listing. So uh, with this, the only thing I'm doing is resizing it. So I'm going to resize a few here. Uh, I always, for my website, make it to 1500 at 72 DPI. So the longer side, I do 1500. And then I'll resize it. And this allows me to save it under the name that I want. So this is going to be Thomas Turtle 1. Okay, so this is the one that I am going... Let me see, I took pictures of more than one that looks like that. Actually, I think I'll use this one. Yeah, I'm going to use that one. So let's get rid of this one. And use this one. Okay, so this is the one like let's say if i do a mock-up i'm going to use this because this has all four corners in it okay so first thing i do is i'll crop it down to where it just touches like the corners and then i will do a warp on it you could do warp, you could do perspective. I like doing warp because um, a lot of times the, the camera image will get just slightly warped a little bit when you're doing it. And by the way, you guys, I am not an expert when it comes to Photoshop or Affinity or cropping pictures. I just, this is what I do. This is what I've always done. It's the easiest way for me to do it. And then I'll hit enter. And then what I do is I'll do a real quick close up just to make sure. Yeah, see, like, you don't want that. So we're going to do this again. And we're going to get that and go up to the next corner. All right, that one looks good. That one looks good. This could probably go out a little bit more. All right, good. And then what I do is I will resize it. Um, take this lock off of here. Turn it into inches. And this piece in of itself is 24 by 36. So then I'm going to do, uh, this is the long side, so 36 by 24. Resize that, and that way it's to scale. It's 24 by 36 there. I used to worry about that when I was doing my own mock-ups because I wanted to make sure that it was to scale. One of the pains in the butts when you're doing your own mock-ups is that um, you're kind of guessing at the scale. That's why a lot of times when you see mock-ups, you'll see like a painting that's supposed to be maybe like a, a 18 by 24 looks like a 40 by 36 or something like that um, because it's hard to get the scale, which is one of the reasons that I've been using Canvi. Canvi, uh, you could actually resize these right there. And you'll see what I'm talking about once uh, once we go on there. I'll actually finish uh, editing these later so that I could take you to Canvi and you could see. So I'm going to export that. Boom, 72 DPI. I've got it at the original size because I kind of want to keep all that uh, texture on there. Room mockups. Try it for free. Okay, so I'm going to sign in. So canvy.com, you sign in and you go to, you've got your artwork and this is where you could go in there and just organize all the artwork that you have. 
uh, or you go to your room mockups. And the cool thing about Canvi is that they've got a whole bunch of different rooms and they're constantly adding to the rooms. And you could actually break it down here. So it just makes it a lot quicker than going through a file or having the same rooms for your artwork. Um, so let's see, where do I want to put the turtle? Uh, let's see, let's see. So you can browse all rooms, which is where we're at. You also have a section here where you have saved rooms. So these are the rooms that I've done so far. Um, let's see here. And then these are all the ones that I've downloaded. So that'll show me all my downloads. Let's put the turtle. Yeah, let's do, let's do this one here. It's a simple one. All right, and then basically you upload your artwork. So you want to add your artwork, and um, I'm going to browse files and go to that one that I just edited, which is this one here. And right here you get to determine what it, what size it is. And it'll. This is why I was saying like before I used to have to worry about that. Obviously I do want to still do that because if I do the print, I want the print to be the right size and scale of the turtle. Uh, but it's pretty cool because then here you just put in your size. So the width for this one is 36 uh, by 24 height, and then you just insert it. All right, so that's where I click it there, then add work. Okay, so there it is. And the cool thing is that you get to take a look here. Okay, so that's 36 by 24 inches. Now I've got it set down here to print. It just automatically does that where uh, in case you're displaying a print or something. Instead, just do painting. And then you see these buttons here where you've got no, uh, no mat and then it's got a frame. So we're going to go here. We're going to get rid of the frame. And then we're going to move this guy around here. I could always do a close up of this room, but I think this room is designed for a really big piece. So let's go ahead and cancel that one. Let's see what we could find here. Let's go to, where could we put you? Where could we? I like you know, maybe this one here with the surfboard. I think that'll be appropriate for a sea turtle. Yeah, so it'll kind of drag it in there, and then you just gotta uh, remember to do uh, what you did before. Okay, so it's thirty-six is the width, twenty-four. We are doing a painting, and we're gonna get rid of the frame because I don't have mine framed. And then you're gonna bring that down here because keep in mind like for my website i'm going to want this to be a square so that it actually shows the piece like all this up here is in case you have a bigger piece um, but this is a 24 by 36 do it like that the cool thing too is that it has like the shadowing according to the way that the room works it it's really really cool you guys then you click these three little dots here and uh, you could save it or you could just download it. It'll download as the surfer's den. Okay, there you go. It'll automatically download it. Now we're going to go to our downloads folder. We'll be in downloads, the surfer's den. And what I'm going to do is just drag that one into the Thomas folder. And this is one of the really cool things about this too, is that, so it saves this cool mock-up. If I take a look at the size of this mock-up, right? This is, uh, it's a nice, nice big size, right? So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and make this a little bit smaller there. Just so that it's a square and it fits on my website well. And then when you zoom in, You can see that you get still all that texture and detail in the piece, which is really cool for when people zoom into uh, your stuff. Another really cool thing 
about Canvy is, for example, if I put this behind a fan, you can see how like you could still see the turtle there. So all their stuff is set up that way. Um, where like the wall is the wall. So it's a, it's just really, really easy to use. That took me no time compared to, and, and that, that took me no time considering that I was like looking around for rooms and stuff like that, but it really takes absolutely no time to, uh, do your mock-up versus if you're doing your mock-up yourself. And it's really good, really good quality. You got a bunch of rooms that you could pick from. Uh, so it's, it's really cool. I, I highly, highly recommend them. So yeah. And then what I'll do with this is I'll just save this and that's my mock-up for my website. Or if I want to put this on social media or wherever I want to put it, basically, uh, once you have the, uh, subscription with Canvi, you're allowed to use these however it is that you want to use them. So yeah, I highly recommend them. Like I said, you could do your own mock-ups. It's not hard. Um, I do recommend doing a mock-up just to give people context of what the piece is going to look like in a certain room. Um, but, you know, it's up to you if you want to do the Canvi thing. I don't even use mock-ups, and I thought it was quite impressive. Yep. I was like, dang, I wish they made these for jewelry, like... You could cut out your jewelry and then choose a human I, to, to model it. You should contact Canvi and see if they'll do it. <laughs> Give be, me some humans. I feel like I'm doing a commercial for somebody and just not getting paid for the commercial because it's just, I'm so excited about this because for years I've been dealing with uh, wanting to create good mock-ups and, uh, you know, having to find pictures online that maybe... Uh, you're not supposed to use because uh, they belong to someone else. Pictures so like, which shall not be named. Yes, exactly. Like pictures of walls that I'm like, I'm going to take that and I'm going to use that for my art. At one point, I was thinking to myself like, well, maybe I could talk to like a furniture company and like hang my stuff up, take a photograph of it. I think it's awesome if you have a space where you could set up, you know, where you have like a, a wall or something where you could set up the paintings and take pictures of them and you got good lighting and stuff like that. That would be the top notch thing. But if you just don't have that or you don't have space like like we do at this moment and you really you're taking pictures outside on a screen so that you could get good lighting for your for your pictures of the paintings. um. Stuff like this, doing a mock-up is something that I, that I recommend just to give the person context. And I think that it also, it's really, really important that you get the, the sizes right. Really, really cool people over at Canvi. And, uh, so I contacted them. I said, listen, this is really, really awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to tell everybody that I know about this. So is there any way that we could give people some kind of cool thing uh, for signing up. And they were like, yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for doing that. So what they did was they gave me a voucher that I could give out of two months free. And the website for that voucher is canvy.com forward slash voucher forward slash DH662542. You could try it out for two months for free. It's really, really freaking awesome. Now, the one thing uh originally that i was like oh i don't know about this because i could do my own mock-ups uh was pricing and then after like taking a look at all the the benefits that you get from it and some of the extra features that they have to me it is worth it uh now that's the thing though i create a lot of work so a lot of times if i'm going to do mock-ups i'm doing like uh, 15 to 20 mock-ups at a time. And this really does cut down that work for me personally by about four hours. So it's absolutely and completely worth it to me. Monthly, they do $15 and then they have the, uh, I forget what it is, but it's yearly. They do 108. So instead of like $15 a month, uh, you're doing $9 a month, which in my mind, if you're going to do it, do it for yearly and uh definitely i i like i said i recommend them so that's that's why i want to share it with you if you've been interested in doing mock-ups uh and and you want to know what my opinion is with it yes if you could do it yourself do it yourself um in photoshop or in affinity yeah and as far as like doing mock-ups and whether or not you need to do a mock-up really it is a personal choice but like i said before i like the idea of giving people context 
of what the piece is going to look like in a room. And, you know, and these are also uh, pictures of your paintings that you could list on social media and, you know, in different ways, instead of just the piece itself uh, sitting on the ground, you could actually have it in a room. And I'd say you guys, and I'm curious to know how you feel about doing mock-ups, what your experience has been with them, whether or not you do mock-ups or not. Uh, Go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching this, you guys. You guys are absolutely freaking amazing. I totally adore you. And if you like this and you want to watch more like this, which I really don't do videos like this in particular, but if you do, you can click over here to subscribe. And that's it. You want to say goodbye, Clee? Good day. Adios.